Tupolev Tu-160, NATO reporting name Blackjack, is a supersonic, variable geometry heavy bomber designed by the Soviet Union. In the 1970s, this aircraft was developed during the Cold War period of geopolitical tension between the Soviet Union and the United States. This aircraft is similar in appearance to the American B-1 Lancer, but it is a completely different class of aircraft, being a standoff missile platform. The Tu-160 is also significantly larger and faster than the B-1 and has a greater combat range. It is the largest and heaviest Max-2 supersonic military aircraft ever built. Entering service in 1987, the Tu-160 was the last strategic bomber designed for the Soviet Union. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the newly independent Ukrainian Air Force had 19 Tu-160s over half of all the Tu-160s were in Ukraine at that time. Following protracted negotiations, 11 Ukrainian Tu-160s were purchased by the Russian Federation. Since the early 2000s, the active fleet has undergone several upgrades, primarily focusing on various electronic systems. The Tu-160 modernization program for existing models commenced with the first updated aircraft delivered in December 2014. In January 2022, the first serial-built Tu-160 made a test flight with two more planned. The tests involved maneuvers to check the stability of the bomber at altitudes of 600 and 2,000 meters, the serviceability of its systems and the functionality of its engines, avionics, flap controls, and gear down and landing systems. After completing the factory testing program, the company delivered the aircraft to the Ministry on December 30 for a second stage of tests. During this stage, officials will confirm that the company has met the aircraft requirements. The test program also includes checking suits, helmets, breathing systems, and catapult functionality as the company noted delivery in 2022 from 10 on order. This modernized aircraft is capable of carrying new long-range KH-55 nuclear cruise missiles. The Tu-160 deployed in the Syrian war. On November 17, 2015, the Russian Air Force carried out airstrikes using several T-160 strategic bombers in the Syrian provinces of Idlib and Aleppo. The strikes utilized KT-11, one air-launched cruise missiles fired from the Mediterranean. In total, between 34 and 83 cruise missiles were fired, destroying 14 targets. In total, between 34 and 83 cruise missiles were fired, destroying 14 targets. On December 11, 2018, the Tu-160 aircraft landed at Maikesia Airport to show support for the socialist government of Nicolas Maduro in Venezuela, along with two other Russian aircraft. Furthermore, the aircraft is equipped with the new NK-3222 engine, which is set to undergo flight tests. Russia launched the program of restarting the production of upgraded Tu-160 strategic bombers following a decision by President Vladimir Putin. 